The Guam Memorial Hospital's debt currently stands at about $21.5 million. CFO Alan Ulrich says GMH will soon have the funds to pay at least $13 million of that debt down. This is made possible through Public Law 32-43. Authored by Senator Dennis Rodriguez, the law allows GMH to borrow the remaining amount they were first authorized to borrow about three years ago. At that time, another law authorized GMH to borrow $25 million, but only $12 million was approved, leaving $13 million untouched. Now that Senator Rodriguez's bill gives them the green light to borrow the remaining $13 million, Ulrich says GMH will be able to breathe a little bit easier. Through GIDA, we did uh, secure a $12 million loan, mm -hmm. and, and the government has been making payments to us, which we in turn have paid to the bank for that loan. So Bill 132 allows us to uh, move forward and, and allows another $13 million of debt, mm -hmm. and that's going to be paid for uh, through the generous gift of the Compact Impact Funds mm -hmm. over the next 10 years. While a huge chunk of its debt will finally be paid down, GMH will still be left with a sizable amount of debt. At this point, it's still unclear how soon GMH can get that $13 million and if their debt will still be just $21.5 million by then. Just three months ago, GMH's debt was only $18 million, which means that since then, GMH's debt has increased by just over a million dollars a month from $18 million on March 31st to $21.5 million by June 30th. So this $13 million could just mean a brief reprieve for GMH, and Ulrich acknowledges that, but he also says that he is looking at various ways the hospital can minimize and even diminish its debt further. What we are doing is to look at opportunities to improve our cash flows, look at all of our sources of revenues and receipts that will in fact help us to mitigate or, or remove that monthly increase of our payables. And just some examples, Ulrich says, is to reintroduce its amnesty billing program or maximize federal funding. As we look at ways to improve our cash flows, uh, a good example is the amnesty program that we had that generated $450,000. Mm -hmm. What other dollars are available for us? Uh, we have opportunities related to uh, the information technology, IT, the electronic health record through CMS uh, financing, and that could be over a million dollars. So we're looking at other sources of revenues that will help us pay down that additional, the remaining difference. And that still doesn't account for how much revenue will be generated through gaming taxes, which has just been authorized through the controversial Bill 19, now Public Law 32-60. The next step for Ulrich is to sit down with the Guam Economic Development Authority to discuss GMH's options for entering into a loan. So I'll be meeting with Gita to talk about uh, how do we move forward with getting that additional debt? Do I consolidate our loan, mm -hmm. existing loan with the new loan? I mean, those are that's the type of guidance I'll be getting as we talk about it. And, and, and what type of financing can we arrange, mm -hmm. you know, from from the financial institutions based on the funding that we get.